going out with the black fella's not going to make you any black, okay? Oh, well, you never know. You think you can walk away from your mob? Live in the city for 10 years, making out your gubba, and then get up on stage and say you're a black fella and that's all right? No. It's not all right, not with me. Don't start me, Gail. I'm not going to do this now. Oh, this poor little mission gin making the coconut shame, eh? What did you call me? Coconut? Oh, sorry, have I offended you? Don't go telling me what I am and what I'm not. I didn't get a say in how things worked out for me. So, you're black now? Or you're white? Well, you're black now, you think there's money in it? I know what I am. Yeah, but does Robbie? What was that about? Kay's mum. It's her birthday. So we're doing a show for her. And two black cars pull in. Government follows. I don't get it. What do they want? Children. It's my responsibility, Dave, to look after the little ones. Because I'm the oldest. I'm not to let them out of my sight, especially not Kay. Why Kay? If you're fair like Kay, then fellas reckon she could pass for white. Take her from the family, put her in an institution, teach her white ways. Pretty soon there'll be no black fellas left to worry about. And then, um, Kay got sick. I mean, real sick. We're scared it's pneumonia, so we take her to town. To hospital. And, and that's when we find out the government fellas have been back. Where's Kay? And they've taken Kay from the hospital bed. Where are you, Kate? No, I won't stop. Where's my girl? You know, we didn't see Kate till her mum died. They let her come home for the funeral. And all she could say in all that time. If you people worked as much as you fished, you'd be really rich, you know? And I've never been able to forgive her. Or myself. <laughs> 